Hi, we're introducing the TrueLine 88. Yeah, that's a, a vertical stabilizing uh, kit designed by myself, by Bruce Witham, uh, and manufactured by me as well. So uh, we'll free up my darling and let her get back to baking cakes and we'll show you what we're talking about. Bye. Oh, I want to see how we Okay. We've come up with a fix. <clears throat> the biggest problem with all of these uh, uh, style mill drills and round column um, drill, drill presses is that um, when you want to move vertically, it, it loses its, uh, uh, its, its, its cave line. Um, so what I've come up with is a, is a, a plan and, a, and a built a kit around that to stabilize the head. In this case, in this case of the Rong Fu or RF30 or there's many other manufactured styles over the last 30 plus years. Um, so the kit comprises of two half clamps with a groove on the side here, which goes onto what you can't see, but it's the rack. Uh, the, the raised and lower rack and, uh, and then in the end of that uh, uh, of, of this particular part we have a, we have a drilled out uh, thread and I'll show that later for both types of um, uh, of the machines whether it be uh, a, a moving head style um, mill, dr uh, mill drill or the this type of mill drill um, so those parts go together here if, uh, and this fits all four and a half inch or 115 millimeter um, columns so there's quite a, a, a wide variety and many thousands out in the market so we we bolt we bolt that up I'm just putting it loosely at the moment and uh, onto that we connect with do you see that okay? We connect it with this block, which is drilled. Uh, the block is drilled through here, and, and that connects to this hole in the centre. And the gap here is for the vertical bar. So we'll, we'll just screw that on. That fits on neatly. Um, that should screw in there. One of the reasons it's so rigid is because it's so tight. Yes, it's very tight. It's got to go across that way a little bit. We've got a, a bit of persuasion. So I've, made, I've made it quite neat. Um, and the, the reason for picking up on, on the poly uh, it's, that's uh, high density poly it's because it's self oily um, and it has um, it has very very low coefficients of, uh, of friction so it'll allow, uh, allow the beam to go through quite easily so then from there this is the beam uh, that will go in and that will come down and fit onto this plate uh, this angled plate that we've made. We've already pre-drilled it. Basically that will come around and, uh, and screw in there. And there's plenty of room for this to manoeuvre. I've also provided a bolt hole through here, which we can introduce a long bolt, and uh, that allows you to even squeeze it to make it a bit tighter. So once that's lined up, uh, and this, is the, this part is tightened up, we can then tighten up the two bolts uh, holding it to the, um, to the head. We've pre-drilled it and so forth, so that's just a matter of, um, of uh, tightening everything together. And that'll give us the line up then. 
uh, and with everything tied up, this will stop the rotation of the head. Um, once it's all lined up, we can then lock up these two bolts at the back, um, and that's an easy fix. Clamp them together, uh, and as you raise and lower the, we could actually do that, could we? We'll come back to that. We raise and lower the head, uh, it will come down the, the K as we call it, or uh, if somebody would like to call it the Z, uh, comes straight down and it's not going to manoeuvre backwards and forwards. Now we've adopted the same, the same system over here uh, with some slight differences. <clears throat> First of all, there's two clamps involved here, whereas only one clamp on the RF30 style. And we've got a block here which could be square or round, we're, we're, we're manufacturing both. The same principle, uh, to, but in this case the bar is set steady, uh, it doesn't move. And the block moves with the head going up and down. And this has got a much longer stroke, so that gives it more stability for, for this style of uh, machine. And, um, and this, in this particular case here, I've opted to get rid of the cap. Now the cap has a function, there's a cap on this one as well. The cap has a, a taper in it and it holds the, um, the rack in place so it, it won't lift up. So what I've opted to do here is I've drilled a hole in the rack and tapped into the column and locked that in place. And so uh, then I haven't, I've, I've managed to gain that extra thickness here, which was the cap. Um, and so that's, that, that's, this is the B style, and this one here on the other bill is the A style. Um, and uh, as we say, we've, we've, in the beginnings of it, we're taking, taking orders or taking pre-orders, uh, expressions of interest, and we hope within the next uh, three, four weeks, we'll have a finalised price, uh, deliverable price um, to anywhere in the world. Now, they'll be made either in steel or in aluminium. We're, we're looking at both options, and, um, and we hope to make these at a, at a good price, delivered to anywhere. Um, so that's the, uh, and my uh, True Line 88 in both styles. The, what, what can be done when, when we make these and sell them, of course, we'll give the instructions, but they'll come complete. All the person has to do is to bolt it in place and drill and tap these holes in the column. And that's, that's all that's required on, on this particular one. Uh, we're, put, we're providing it with slots in both directions, so that allows for any change in, in any taper or, or changes or, or non, non truancy of the um, of the head. What what this also allows is for the head to be be set off centre, but still run true. So if you need to move the head over here, uh, everything will will turn around. We just loosen those two bolts here. It will swing around, and you can lock it in. With the other machine, in my case, at any rate. Uh, I'd have to take the little bolt out that's holding the uh, holding the rack in place in order to be able to turn it, and then release both the top and bottom clamps, and then uh, then swivel it to which the direction I want it to be, lock it all up, and uh, then that's it. So that's the uh, True Line 88 uh, vertical stabilizer. Thanks for watching. Hey YouTube, Jamie from Oz. Well, the day has finally arrived. The wrong foo, she is wrangled. What you're seeing here is this delicious piece of kit, soon to be available from Mr. Bruce Witham at Gemtrek, the True Line 88, or as I like to call it, the Round Column Wrangler. The uh, piece of kit has gone through a number of iterations on this little machine here, but um, poly, self-oiling, low wear, low friction, uh, aluminium, easy bolt, you just drill two holes in your casting to, to fix it and because you've got slots in both this direction and this direction any taper on the casting you can just wear, uh, wobble out, tighten up, job's done. And um, a clamp bolt if you feel like you're losing 
tram over the time, but you've got a good two inches of contact on that bar. You've got a good six inches of contact up there. It's not going anywhere for reals. Coming around, look at that. That's, that's, that's not even wobbling if I wanted it to wobble. Look at that. Have you ever seen a head go up and down that smooth? Look at that. You want me to wind it while you're sick? Oh yeah, if you would. There is no motion anywhere in that. That's rock solid. Hollywood. Hold your straight line, mate. True line, 88. Point three. So, full travel to the top. You want to bring it full travel down to the bottom. So you've lost none of your motion, except for the round column wriggle. That is beautiful. Check that shit right out. And so the positioning of the kit is such that it's a retrofitable kit. There's still plenty of clearance. The bar doesn't touch, and that is Hollywood. So, what happens if you've got one of these tilt column mills that's still around column? Well, we've got you sorted there too. Look at this. So, the, bolt, the bar, rather, in this case, is bolted and stationary, and the block is mounted on the head. So, you still have the same interface, and here you've got an even wider, longer contact face, and verticular placement of that bar, that's solid as, mate. You couldn't move that if you if you parked a house on it. So, round column wriggles be gone with the True Line 88. For any inquiries, gemtrek at bigpond.com. Or Bruce, get around at gmail.com. We're going to put this text down below, but in case you haven't seen it, here's the slow and gentle. Hey, there you go. Still finalising price, but you can bet it's going to be keen. Like mustard. Much cheaper than buying a dovetail mill anyway. Well, thanks, Bruce. Thanks for showing that. Thanks for all your hard work and uh, yep. your brain okay. cells. Next uh, thing is we're moving this out to your place. Yep. That's what the main... So that's, uh, that's the next step. Indeed. So we'll get that going. Thank you so much.